Yes, last session was fun because it was interesting. <laughs> now, mm -hmm. you have the information that you have so far. You know, you, you know about the silk handkerchief? Uh huh. You know about your auction? You know kind of some stuff going on? We just don't know where it's at. Or who's hosting uh, it? So to speak, you know, you know the group that's hosting it, but you don't know who these people are. You, you've never, nope. you, you, as far as you're aware of, you haven't met anybody. Nope. Yeah, all right. So we just know that there's a um, another group of people going to the auction in the fancy hotel. You recall? Yes, as you will recall, uh, while Monk was kind of doing the negotiation with the hobo and dropping him gold coins. Yeah. Uh, that you remember in the Jude and the Jew and the jeweled pearl in, there was a group right. of out of town fancy folk. You know, they were a bunch <laughs> of out of towners, as, as he said. And you know, they uh, they were them fancy folk. Uh, you know, they had hands. You know, they had servants, and they were richety uppity people. Yeah. And then the the silver candlestick, as you recall, there was another group. I remember it was so specific about them. Uh, they had the hired muscle. Yeah. That not, was not with them the last time the they were in town. Yeah. A bit rougher around the edges, so to speak. Wait a minute. I just uh, had an awesome idea. We should totally go into that in kick their ass and be like, now you hire us to protect you. That seems doable. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh. It does, does it? I don't know if it would have the intended result, but... Somebody's ass is getting kicked. Do it. <laughs> And as we know, and as warriors in time, we ain't got no time to wait around. We're kicking ass. If you think about it, we got all the time in the world. Mm -hmm. Dear God, that epiphany. Uh, the, the epiphany? Yeah. <laughs> the epiphany. <laughs> it's not an epiphany. Um... I mean, that, that is an option. Obelisk and to start counting stuff. So you all have kind of made your way back into kind of more into the town. Um, after hmm. somehow, through some magical bullshit, have managed to convince the guards <laughs> that you did not kill that man. <laughs> And that you were out there for no raisins. Not even yep. the California ones. Precisely. Just Especially. pure genius. Yeah, just pure just pure coincidence. You're completely innocent. He was not he, he he was not breathing when you got there. He was not breathing when you left. You got no idea. Which, ironically, is the truth. Yeah. There was even a key witness. A fucking seagull. <laughs> yes. Do you remember what the seagull said? Guys in black. Guys in black. I'm so glad somebody remembered. Poor guys. Sh shiny stick. Uh-huh. Please tell me you wrote that down. With a rat. <laughs> I wrote it down in my head. Perfect. Mm. Nice. This party is the epiphany of note takers. <laughs> oh, yes. We have epiphanies all the time. <laughs> As in, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, that MacGuffin exists. Or we talked to that guy. Yeah. It's like, uh, oh yeah, that actually did happen, didn't it? <laughs> All right. Uh, uh. 
So you all are, are kind of back in town. You know, you've you've yep. managed to kind of, you know, slide your way back in. You know, you see the guards are kind of, you know, as you look down there, you can kind of see the guards off by the thing, so kind of stand there talking and kind of conversing about something. Um, you suspect the death, but you know, it, it could be a soup recipe. Mm. But you all are are soup. back in town. Yeah. Um. What would you all? What? Where would you like to go or do at this point? Um. What time of day is it? Uh, it is early, kind of earlyish mid morning. Mm, let's see. Still um, kind of foggy. You know, still still a light fog that's slowly burning off. Maybe we could check out that uh, fancy inn. The jeweled pearl. Yes. See what happens if when we walk in. Once see I start, I'd, uh... start waving our silk handkerchief around. <laughs> All right. You know, just to see what happens. So you yeah, would or like at least to... try to find it. Okay. Uh, it, it's actually not hard to find. I mean, you you can you know ask around or or you know as you wander around, right. you you can see like it has a sign. It's not like a hidden inn. It's right. just uh, you know, but, but as you were told, that it is a very higher end establishment uh-huh. for wealthy merchants and nobles and and you know right. high ranking people. Gotcha. You know, the common man does not stay at the Jew at the jeweled pearl. Of course not. He stays at the Shattered Pearl. <laughs> Black Pearl. That's so this disgusting do. looking man <laughs> walks into a high class inn. Yes. A half naked disgusting gnome. <laughs> More like three quarters. Yeah, fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. Once we get about to where that is, is there anyone like at the door or like uh, like a bouncer? There yeah. is not actually. Yeah. It, it, it's okay. they don't have like a door guard or, or like anything like that. They don't have like okay. a bouncer or anything like that. It, it, it's it's still just an inn, um, right? Yeah. And as far yeah. as like you know, yeah, you, you would you, let's see, you would actually know that basically the door would be opened by a servant for you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Interesting decision in this case. Now, would Jalu have the etiquette knowledge of uh, if he just walked in as he looks now? Would it be like a gas monocle popping reaction? Uh, do you have... Would you have any... Why would you have etiquette? You lived as a... I monster. don't know. Mm-hmm. The closest you got to rustic hospitality. Fancy towns. Yeah. <laughs> Might have some kind of etiquette code. I don't know. I mean, maybe he's heard tales of, like, you know, the high, upper echelon back in his times. And, like, I'll, I'll tell you what. You can they... give me a... In... No. Oh, no. So give me a strike. Give me an intelligence check at disadvantage. Uh huh. Please. Oh my. Hmm. <laughs> no. Uh you don't know. Not a clue. You don't know how they'll react. Find out. Yeah. <laughs> you aren't sure how they'll react. All right. Galactor's got this. And uh, Jelly will just enter the facility. All right. So how how are you all dressed? Should I ask? Regularly, his robes. <laughs> so you have Jalu. chested. So you got Galactor in like leather pants and like shirtless. You got Jalu <laughs> in his kind of monk robes, and you've got Chungus in like barely a loincloth and body paint. And some uh, some animal skins wrapped around here and there. Okay, okay, good to know. So, you all 
open the door. Uh-huh. It opens up. And you all step inside. Oh. It is an exquisite establishment. You oh. see stained glass windows. There's a long, handcrafted, carved mahogany uh, kind of innkeeps like greeting area, like a hmm. like a desk. Okay. There is a rather short older woman sitting behind the desk, fiddling away at some paperwork. Uh-huh. Okay. Is she the only person we see right now? Uh, currently, yes. Okay. Jelly doesn't see any, like, common area or foyer. Uh, this is kind of more like a little, well, I don't want to call it like a foyer. It's not like a, like a little, it's not like a sitting area. It's, it's right. kind of more like an entry, kind of like, think... Right. Think like the, uh, think it kind of like the, like if you were going into a, like a Motel 6 or something like that, kind of style mm-hmm. hotel or motel where like I have, like you go inside and there's like a couple chairs to sit and wait and a desk to like check in instead of like, mm-hmm. like a, if you go in a nice hotel, like they have like the, the opening area, but, they get, but it's kind of sort of like that, except it branches out into like a kitchen, like an eating area and like a foyer and stuff like right. that. But this is like the entrance way, and there's like like a like a big carved like kind of like counter desk thing. Okay. Now, when we were at the the wedding, we had a pretty much sign like a registry, right? When we got there, like you know, when we showed up, we signed our names in a book. Uh, yes. I feel like there would probably be something like this here. Anything like a book? <laughs> See at the table. I mean, the old woman. Was You'll know she's working in some kind of ledger book. Or something. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And she will look up. Mm-hmm. She, she, as you all are kind of standing there, she will look up from her ledger book. Mm-hmm. And slowly kind of just push her, push her glasses up, up, up her nose. Her forehead's a little crinkled, but not bad. Her hair's fairly gray, but not completely just yet. Yep. And she will look at you. She will look at you and with a small crackle in her voice. She goes, "I'm sorry. I believe you are in the wrong establishment." Glockdor will uh, make a a snarf and say, "For your knowledge, I have more gold than I have muscles." We mean no intrusion. Simply looking for somebody. Which way is it to the rooms? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, This is a private establishment. Uh, Non-guests may not enter the room areas. Hmm. I see. Uh, can Jalu try to, like, intuit where possibly might go to the <laughs> I don't know, that's not it. You know, as you go around, there will be a section, like, you could go to your left, and it would kind of go through like, this kind of, like, sitting area. And then if you're off from there, there would be access to several rooms, possibly multi-levels worth of rooms. Okay. You can always ask what the price right. of lodging is here. would like to. Um. Uh, Glockaro uh, say, uh, what is the price for room and board in this establishment? Uh, the price for room and board is 100 gold pieces per person per night. Jalu kind of raises a brow at that price. Certainly uh, opulent, that's for sure. No, I expect there to be food and beverages along with this stay. But that's 
Yes, uh, all our guests uh, have access to the kitchen ed- area and drinks whenever they wish. But but again, I believe you are in the wrong establishment. Um, the silver candlestick is down the road and on the left. A- and then you have the three-legged toad, which is at the end of the hall. You- you'll lo- you'll find it over by the docks. Well, Again, we'll uh, slam down his giant <laughs> coin purse he has on the side of his thing. With as much coin he has, I think it makes a very hefty thud. How much coin does Galactor throw down on the table? Well, he throws. He puts his whole por- purse down to get the coin out. Uh, how much is that? Um, one thousand three hundred and eighty-six gold pieces. Three thousand and some silver pieces. There's a lot of lot of coin here. Uh huh. Just you know, a large amount. So he just throws it on his stud, and he grabs. Uh, he counts out his hundred gold coins, and stacks them in good rows of twenty. Okay. And I say this should be a, efficient. The lady will. The lady pushes her glasses all the way fully up on her nose, and then kind of looks up at you, and then kind of squints like she's like, "Who are you?" And that thought is like you tell you tell that that thought is going through her mind like right now. Like she doesn't know who you are. She's never met you. She's never heard of you. And she will look at the three of you all. Were y'all supposed to have a reservation? Forgive me. Reservation? Uh, yes. All our guests come in ahead. They, they have. They send a servant or somebody ahead of time to provide, to, to set up, to make sure the room is available and that all their accommodations are needed. Uh, Go off to a row, put out another 20 gold and say, we're just blowing through for the night. Uh, uh, <laughs> she will kind of look at it and I'm um, first off, I, I, I'm sorry. Um, it is it is very um, unusual for anyone who frankly, can afford this establishment that, that would walk in off the street, as you all have. Um, and by unusual, I've never seen it in my 28 years here. Um, <laughs> you'll see her get a book over. She'll, she'll, she she kind of... She sets her ledger book off to the side and then gets a little... Gets, gets off this little... It's about the size of a sheet of paper. Like a regular size sheet of paper. Um, but it's, and it's, you know, a little bit thicker than like a notebook. Basically, like a single, single, like a single uh, subject notebook, and she gets that open, and she, and she folds it open, and and she goes, and you, you hear, as she dips in some ink and goes, uh, "What do you? Let me make your reservation for you all for this evening." Um, uh, what is the names? Is it single room? Or, it would be three hundred good pieces. Uh, it's three people, but would you like separate rooms or a single? Single will be fine. You, you see her go into a page and, and, and do a single section, and, and you see. Uh, uh, and the name? He'll look back at Jalu and uh, <laughs> kind of make a nod to, for him to give him his name. Right. You're the only one that has a full <laughs> first and second name. <laughs> All right, well, uh, Jalu clears throat and uh, say. Jalu Kiowan. K O N. K E Y E O N. K. Jalu. Ja J A. Do you need me to write it out for you? No, 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 I have this. I have this. L-O-U. L-O-U. I have it. And she will go. Uh, 
Very well. And you, you are staying for one day, correct? Correct. And you can see her writing some more stuff down there. One day, paid up front in gold. Has. M might I ask, um, do you have a lot of baggage with you? Michelle just kind of glances at some of the pouches he's carrying, shakes his head. <laughs> no stores. <laughs> You should kind of go back there and mark that and go valuables. Um, you then in our, kind of, in our kind of work, we tend to travel lightly. Yes, uh, I, 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 I'm just confused. I've never uh, seen you all stay here before. Usually, I, I know everybody who stays in this area. We are uh, new to this area wasn't obvious. It's just rather unusual that people who are not new to the area appear. Uh, occasionally we get the, the odd traveler every once in a while and, you know, um, yeah, well, people come in for special occasions, but beyond that, we, we tend to get the same kind of hmm. traveling group, what, I should say. What type of special occasions? <sighs> you know, holy festivals, um, you know, high priest might call for a hmm. for a consecration or something, or you know, or, you know, a festival, a temple raising. Anything related to an auction? I I, I suppose but there could be. Um, I, hmm. I, I I don't know what we especially about an auction. There's one head every Tuesday down on the Baker Street. Is that so? Oh yes, they raffle off all the old bread. Uh, as, uh, as for cheap to the poor. I see. Any other auctions? She kind of stops and looks and goes, Not that I know of. What kind would you be looking for? Land? Cattle? Women? More uh, antiquities, I suppose you could say. As. I don't deal in antiquities. I did not know. Um, Fair enough. I, I suppose there are people who might know of an antiquity dealership, but uh, I, I am not one of those people. And she goes back to writing in a ledger book. Um, so, ha, so, you said no valuables. Okay. okay. Um, uh, any livestock? <laughs> Joe, who will point to Chungus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe he qualifies, sir. What do you mean? I live. I have stock. Uh, any pets we should know about? Um, oh, that's what you mean. Uh, no. No pets. Uh, will, you be, will you be requiring entertainment for the evening? Uh, Jelly just kind of looks over at the Galak <laughs> No, but we would require a, a nice hot bath. No entertainment, bath, uh, laundry service. <laughs> she, she'll kind of look over at Chengus and then turn to you. Would, y would, would you be requiring a laundry service, sir? And she looks back over at Jalu. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. Jalu looks to say something at first, kind of stops himself and says y Yes, I suppose so Hot bath and single laundry use uh, Laundry uh, How about the mint? Do you, do you wish for a mint to be on your pillow? Um <laughs> Now, I'm just trying to think, would Jalu 
have. Well, I mean, you probably would you even know what at least the plant. I was like, Glockman knows what the the plant is. Because yeah. you put plant. What? Jalu just looks confused. Oh. <laughs> uh, yes, sir. We we we, we arrange a small pl- uh, thing of mint on your pillow before you go to sleep, that your pillow may smell nicer. Uh, She's sliding out of that, that English like voice because I can't do it so well. That will uh, not be necessary. Okay. Uh, hot pillow, laundry, no mint. Uh, is there any other amenities you would like? Um. There is a mini bar in the, in, in inside your room. Uh, it is stocked with a few items. You want to play to replace them, of course, uh, but you're free to help yourselves. Very well. Um, th- there is a show in the theater this evening. Um, I can get you tickets if you'd like. Hey guys. <laughs> hey Monk. Hey Monk. So I'm on my laptop, which doesn't have the IP address. What's the IP address mark? Uh, well, no, 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 I'll send it to you, John. Or Discord. So I had it set up earlier, but I just never saved it. But I have it on my PC. Actually, Zerus, do you have that? Uh, I can get it. Hang on a second. Yes, please. Because uh, it, I had to. It, it would take me a step to go through it. Right. Yeah. 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 If I can't, I can't get, I, I get logged, Monk. Uh, Monk, say something for me real quick. Uh, test, test, test. Yeah, it's good. Okay, cool. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Yeah. <laughs> you you were just kind of echoingly loud for a second. A little louder than you, you know we are. Okay, Fantasy Grands has decided to not work. One second, I can get it. All right. Well, we'll see if I can get it first. <laughs> no, if you can get it, go ahead. Yeah, I got it. Cool. So, six. Uh... uh while we do this, I'm going to take a break. That's um, the IP address, Monk. The, the video will yeah, pause here, and I'll be right back. Don't want to say that. Ah, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> Monk, our other player, playing Batorin, uh, jumped in there. Uh, and we didn't get him in there without like having to go through like 20 minutes of setup and stuff like that for the video. So, mm-hmm. all right, we are back. Okie dokie. So she was, uh, so she just asked you, as you recall, uh, a, a show. Uh, yeah, we have one in the theater this evening. Uh, uh, would you like tickets for one? I can get you some. A show? What uh, type of show? It, it is a play, sir. Oh. Um, is Jalu familiar with the concept of a play? You are familiar with, with the concept of a play, yes. Okay. I guess it's uh, quite a archaic thing in a sense. Um, I mean, it's not going to be like... It's more like Greek play, less modern Broadway. Right. Uh, when is this show happening again? By accident, I went to stretch. I don't know what's there. Monk. <laughs> what the intentional promise? <laughs> Making puppies over here. Anyways, um, what time is that show? Uh, the the show will begin uh one hour after sundown. Hmm. Not sure what time. We'll say no for now. Good call. No, thank you. So she was done. No show. Is there anything else I could get you on? I think that will be all. Very well. Um... She, she will hand you a key. Okie dokie. And she goes, okay. if you go, uh, if, you, if you turn to the left and, and go in the door, you, you'll see uh, in the foyer, you'll go along and 
in the back right, you will go and you'll see a set of stairs. If you climb those to the top, it will go up into the floor. You come down the hall, and it will be the last door on your left. Okay. <laughs> right, so, do I need to do everyone's coin out of my pocket, or are you guys willing to pay for your stuff? I'm too? willing to pay. Uh, uh, I guess we can all chip in. Uh, yeah, how much was it? It's supposed to be 100 per person. 100, 100 per gold per person? Uh -huh. God damn. <laughs> That's damn. All right, well, I mean, he ain't going to really use his money for much else, so. Yeah. True. I Our slap. uses his to buy information. Yes, now we have two rooms <laughs> on different ends. I Wait. slapped down 10 platinum on the counter. No, what, Chungus is buying his own room? Wait, I thought we were all chipping in. Why well, I heard somebody say something about two rooms. I'm like... No, 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 I mean at a different inn. Oh, this oh, why don't you be on the same... At the Mute Lily. Yes. As well as... <laughs> I was so... Good. Like, I, I, I thought you meant you had two rooms here. I'm like, no, wait, no, no, wait no, who's no. getting the second room? No, 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 no. Sorry, guys, my laptop crashed. I'll get it's all good. Okay. Any who's? Wait a minute. I did. You wait. I'll go back to the lady. She said something about the laundry service. I will dig through my bag for my fine, fancy clothes. <laughs> I still have those, and ask her to have them washed and brought to the room shortly. Uh, yes. You could have one of your servants. Yeah, um. Um. You can have one of your servants if you. If... Using it. Am I pissed with plastic? Monk. Monk. Yeah, I'm here, I know. No, you're, uh... You're hot, Mikey. You to talk. I'm muting myself. Okay. <laughs> uh, she goes, uh, yeah, so you can have one of your servants. Um, if you go beyond the foyer and into the kitchen area, just past that, there is a chute that they can be uh, put into, and it would lead into a basket, and then they, they will, uh, they will be taken care of from that. Walker will stare at her blankly, look back at the party, look back at her, and then lay down ten gold on it. Ooh. Or I can take this for you. <laughs> Thanks. You see her reach and just slide like the ten gold into her pocket. <laughs> And then proceed to pick up the, the entire stack of clothes and to walk over there. Okay. I think we uh, should get a, get a moving. Just kind of take a look about. Okay. So we you all... have our room number, right? Well, she not... described how to get there. Yeah, you, you go yeah. through the foyer, up the, to the stairs in the back, you go all the way up to the top, you go up to the next floor, which is the top, go all the way to the end of the hall, door on your left. Okay. Top floor all the way to the hall. Gotcha. Top floor, last door on the left. Okay. Now, proceed along. Um, do the doors have keyholes? <laughs> Well, I imagine they do because you have a key for them, but <laughs> I was right, able to, to say, see... I handed you a key. Yeah, 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 yeah. I realized that too late. But do you mean they have like, to, did, did, to they... look through and see? They they have a intricate locking mechanism. Ah, so you can't see through. Okay, got you. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> well, Martor, you're still gonna have to. Uh... Does there seem to be anybody else about? Or is it just us walking around the... Uh... There's probably a commons area somewhere. It, you know, they're like basically people hang out when they're not in the room if they want to hang out with other people. They kind of hang out in the dining hall. 
They'll sit mm. there and they'll have coffee. And then they'll have tea. And then they'll have drinks. And then they'll have food. And they'll kind of sit there and lounge and smoke and kind of meet among and mingle amongst the rich. Right. Gotcha. All right. Um, I guess we could see if we can locate the dining hall. Well, the dining hall is easy to locate. If you go through the foyer, there's the staircase in the back, and then you look to your right, yep. and it leads into a dining room, a kind of a dining area, and then just off that is the kitchen area. You just, like, peek into the dining room? Sure, if you'd like to have a look as you walk past, sure. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to have, like, a full, like, look around, or do you just want to kind of, like, do a glance or kind of, like, quick scanning move? Yeah, qu more quick scanning move. Okay, make a perception check as you kind of, like, kind of glance through and see who's saying, see, get all the information you can. Alrighty. I don't know. Okay. Uh, not bad. Alright, so you can see, uh, a, a, there's a couple pockets of groups of people. Um, probably yeah. four or five. Um, a couple staff. Uh, there's definitely some servants. Uh, you can tell. There's some very wealthy dressed looking people. Um, no one is dressed as low as you all. Right. Gotcha. Beyond that, so in bad yeah. fellow you gathered. All right. Well, um, I think what Jalu's at least going to want to do. I don't know about the rest of the group, but um. Probably head to the room mm -hmm. or just um, change into his more fancier. Um, well, Glockter's taking a bath. Oh. He, <laughs> okay. He's ha he's having his fine clothes washed and brought to him. He's taking a bath. Okay. <laughs> I gave my fancy sash to the caveman. I don't Everyone. even think Bartorin has fancy clothes. <laughs> you you bought some fancy clothes, didn't you, to go to the, the wedding? Way back in yeah. There are sure. <laughs> Darker clothes, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Slightly less grubby clothes. Torin doesn't want to stand out. He 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 is the kind of person that's like, I I'll be, I'll go, but I'll try to be as inconspicuous as possible. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But yeah, once um, Jalu can get changed, he will then enter the dining area all right so jalu walks up and, and gets changed um yeah. what is okay so, so you you go upstairs to get changed. what is chung glottar's going to take a bath what is chungus doing take hmm. a bath as well and have his his good clothes washed as well might as well had to be safe than sorry you know what i think i'll do i think i'll uh take the uh the skin that i or the pelt that I skinned off that Barlgura in the King's Mind and uh, throw that in the wash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to remind you all that, like, y'all didn't buy the laundry service. Galactor paid the lady $10 or 10 gold pieces to take his stuff to the laundry. Remember, he walked over there and dropped 10 gold pieces on top of his clothes and said, Basically said, here, take these. <laughs> Y'all did not pay for the laundry service. Bartor will hold off on paying for laundry services. He's just going to take a bath. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I was like, yeah, I didn't. I mean, like, like I love the idea, Chungus and Bartor, but. Uh... Just put it on my bill. <laughs> <laughs> you would. Oh, man. I mean, y'all are not confined to this to this end. I would remind you all of this. A hundred percent. But if I'm gonna do the ploy, I'm gonna go all the way. You know, all the way. You're missing service, by the way. Uh, <laughs> yeah, another. Let's see. Does Chungus believe in bathing? Huh? I don't know. Does he? Sure, he'll go take a bath. <laughs> all right, so while they're all up in the bath area, so you all go off and take a, a long, drawn, hot bath. 
Jelly. In, I feel like oh, anyone who happens to be in this bathroom with Galactor and Chungus needs to automatically do an intimidation check and or run in fear. Because <laughs> this amount of muscles <laughs> is not normally possible. The water Give me an intimidation roll. <laughs> the water is just contaminated. It's a Turkish bath too. So it's not like one bath. It's a communal bath. Nice. Oh, there you go. Shit. Okay. So there's nobody else besides taking a bath at this point than you all. Everybody else has gotten up and walked out. And it is just you all taking a bath at this point. This giant, massive Turkish bath. As everybody else has abandoned the ship, basically. Nice. Meanwhile, while this is going on, Jalu, you have changed into your nice robe, yeah. quote unquote, quote unquote, and have headed back to the dining hall. Yep. Hmm. What would you like to do? Uh, just enter into the dining hall and um, take a seat somewhere, quote unquote, inconspicuous, uh, and just kind of watch and see what the other people are doing. Alright. Um, so you take a seat near the back. Um, yeah. A servant will walk over and go, ah, oh, sir. Um, it, m might I, uh, might I offer you some food or beverage? It is still early. Breakfast is still being served. We could probably get you a bit of lunch if you would prefer. A cup of coffee, possibly. Sure, I will take this coffee. Uh, certainly, certainly. He kind of nods and walks off. Uh, so, so you're kind of just seeing like they're kind of like, what, observing everybody else and what they're doing? Yeah, essentially. Trying to kind of listen in, but where he's sitting is probably not the greatest spot. Uh, I mean, it's it's not bad to hear some conversation going on. Um, you hear some different people yeah. talking about some different things. Um, okay. it, Jimmy just seems kind of like idle chit chat. Everybody just kind of talking about you know, okay, uh, m minor things. Uh, Jellu, while listening to this, kind of wants to try and see if he can catch on to like any of the proper etiquette anybody's using to speak to each other. Um, it, it, it's a bit more refined language wise. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, what do you have that would help? Maybe insight? I don't know. <laughs> no. No, okay. That would be a charisma check, please. Charisma, okay. Straight up charisma, which is minus one, my worst stat. Here we go. <laughs> oh, okay, I mean, that's better than I, you get a few things, nothing spectacular. Uh, you do kind of get a few ways of kind of like being a little more proper, but okay. you ain't great at it. Okay, well, Jell will try to commit at least some of what he gleaned to case he decides to go over and talk to him, which he may do. Okay. Um, well, the servant returns with your coffee. Okay. Take the um, coffee and uh, look at it. <laughs> is there a problem, sir? Uh, no, it's fine. It was just kind of wave him off. Uh, uh, he kind of nods and, and wanders off to go help under the table. So, so you kind of watch it. There's different groups. And they, they, you notice they kind of kind of move around and mingle and stuff like that. All right. And then you then a, a rather short pot. A uh, portly man kind of walks up and sits down at the table with you. Ah, uh, don't believe we've met. Oh, I don't believe we have. Uh, I am Jao Lu. I am Robert Maxine. Uh, it is a pleasure, sir. I'm, I'm a wonderful, wonderful salesman. Uh, my family is rich in gold and diamond mines. Uh, how about yourself? Oh, I uh, deal in antiquities. Antiquities? Then what brings you out here? Uh, I, just, I haven't seen Well, you. I have heard of some 
auction is taking place and seeking information about that. Uh, an auction? What kind of auction have you heard about? Some sort of relic being auctioned. Something to do with a silk handkerchief. Uh, been told. Uh, the silk handkerchief. Uh, what's so special about this handkerchief? You know, used by a king. I believe so. Though can't be certain. Well, tell me more about this handkerchief. You say it's it's a rare artifact, correct? That is correct. Huh. Uh, and you're looking to acquire it? Potentially, yes. Depending on the uh, quality of the artifact and other factors. Uh, the guy goes, ah, we, we, surely this must be of great value. Uh, are, are you sure you could afford such an, an, an artifact of such quality, if it was a good quality? I, I mean, have... do, does your family have enough gold and diamond mines to do that? Well, I do have some connections. Some, uh, though perhaps not quite as much as I would like. He puts his arm around you and goes, hey, Well, here, here, here. T -t tell me, uh, wh what do you know about this auction so far? You know, he seems, now he seems interested in this auction. Just, what do you know so far? You know, I mean, you know, what auction is this? I'd like to, you know, kind of get in on this. Maybe some things I want. You know, antiquities are nice to have in the house. You know, they, they really show off some important stuff. You know, people, those people know how rich you are. Yes. In fact, I hear there's someone staying at this very place that is taking part in the auction. I was hoping to rub shoulders with them. Uh, yeah. Really? Do you know who this guy who this guy might be? Jello thinks for a moment, and just kind of shakes his head. Oh, really? Well, do, you, do you have any kind of information? Well, we may go find him. You know, I got some people. We might know somebody. Yeah, you probably... can Jello recall any particulars? Uh, laid by the bum. Uh, no, uh, you know yeah. that. Uh, all you know is that the guy, same the person. The, the, what you remember from the conversation was that yeah. the pre the people that were staying here were out of town folk. They 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 stood out as out of town folk. Okay. Uh, very wealthy. They seem to they seem to be very very wealthy uh, and very out of town. Uh, just just immediately could stand that out. Okay. Beyond that, not nothing as far as like this. It's this, per, you know, like there wasn't a definitive like you know he's this right, tall yeah, yeah, or, yeah. or anything like that. That's what I figured. Um, but no, uh, Jalu will kind of mention. I do not know particularly what they look like. However, they stand out, so to speak. They're not from here, and they're apparently very, very wealthy. Hmm. That could be a lot of people. I, hang, on. hang on. Sure. He it, it, it kind of goes, <laughs> Georgia! Georgia! Kind of waves over one of, the, one of the other guys. He was standing there talking with a cup of coffee in his hand. He walks over. Uh, yes, Roberto. 
Sit, sit down, Georgia. Uh, what was your name, friend? Jelly, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Jelly, this is uh, Georgia, better man. Uh, ah, pleased to meet you. George, he's looking for a silk handkerchief. You ain't seen one, have you? Jojo kind of looks at Verto and looks at you and goes, "Silk handkerchief." He kind of pulls out just a just a handkerchief and just, I, I've got one if you need one. <laughs> Not quite like that. It's more something of an auction type of thing. You seem kind of like, what kind of auction? One, one that's for antiquities in particular. Apparently there's a relic, fairly high value. Something to do with silk handkerchief, which I'm not entirely sure what that means. He goes, he kind of looks at you and goes, well, how'd you hear about this auction? Well, you see, <laughs> I'm someone who is interested in many antiquities, and I've had conversations with some individuals who have mentioned that there was some sort of auction either run by sort of silk handkerchief or something about that all right well it's more of a rumor uh, no, go, go, go on, go on, go on. I'm just confused. I've never heard of a silk handkerchief as an artifact, you know? Hmm. Well, that's the thing. I don't know if it really refers to the artifact in question. It sounds more like either an organization or an establishment, if you understand what I'm saying. So, like, some kind of group or something like that? Very possibly. Some sort of calling card. Paper works better as a card. I would agree with you. Hmm. I'm trying... He kind of goes... But I, I don't know. Do you know anybody else who would know? Because I don't have a clue. Can uh, Jalu make a check to see if these people genuinely seem confused about this, or if they're just like playing dumb? Sure. That be insight. Please. All right. Bam. You you get the impression they aren't telling you everything that they know. Mm. And they may not be entirely honest with what they have said. You aren't sure beyond that. Well, as I said... I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, you, you aren't sure what is true... What you're, you're unsure of what they have said is true and what is not true. You, just under, you, you get the impression that something they have said is not entirely true. Right. From both of them. But there is some uh, dishonesty... There is some semblance of dishonesty as far as you can tell. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so, well, uh, if you hear anything about such an auction, I would be interested to find out. Uh, sure, 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 sure. Um... Might I ask where might you be staying? 
Uh, well, uh, well, I'm here, obviously. Yes, of course, but um, would you mind if I were to pay a visit? For for what reason? I'm sorry I'm not there to help you out, Jalu. <laughs> it's all good. Um, well, I figure we could speak some more of the antiquities. If you're interested. I, sure, I'm sure, afraid sure. I have a habit of enthusing too much. Uh, to, to tell you what to do. I'll, I'll seek you out, don't worry. If I hear anything, I, I, I'm sure I'll be able to find you, don't worry. Very well. Uh, uh, forg forgive me, forgive me. Uh, I, I believe it's time to get up to the room. Uh, you know, uh, get ready for lunch and stuff. And I got a few cool. meetings with some people. Understand. So hey. I know Chungus is with me. Uh, what is Bartorin doing in all this? I, I think he's with you. As far as I know. Taking a bath. It's so he's also taking a bath. Okay. Yes. yes. You three all three are in the bath. bath. Nothing to see here. <laughs> you all have split the party. Six feet away because they're not gay. Oh no! See, we we put Chungus on one end and then I'm on the other, and we're actually made uh, monks characters sit in the middle and we're throwing them back and forth like a like a little <laughs> torpedo. I just imagine y'all are like flexing at the ends of the edge of the pool each way and causing waves to go back and forth. <laughs> And he's like bobbing up. He's like he's like a buoy. In the middle, just trying to catch his breath. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like a wave pool. Like you know, he's like he's swimming against the wave, and he tries to swims the other way against the wave. Uh, we lost monkey again. Uh, anyway, so uh, so you see him go. He goes. Hey, I'll be joining. You know, I, I got. You know, I want to. I want to get some lunch. And remember, get to up and walks away too. So you know, back at the table by yourself. You see him walk off, speak to a person or two, and then kind of both exhale out uh, back towards the rest of the building. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. Hmm. Is there anybody left in the uh, dining hall? Uh, there's still groups, yes. Okay. I think um, Jello will continue listening in for a little bit before. Uh, well, while he's listening, he's going to try the coffee. <laughs> All right, so you take a swig of the coffee. Uh, make me a Constitution saving throw. Oh boy, Some good coffee. <laughs> Okay. And uh, how's the taste? Uh, you, you know, your head kind of like it just kind of rushes through you. Your head kind of begins to spin. Your eyes are almost cross. You start to shake Ooh. real bad. Um, Ooh. you you get one key point. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> if he wasn't max key points, he probably would actually. <laughs> uh, your 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 eyes begin to kind of most cross like it, it's it's you know you're kind of wow. shaky, it, it's incredibly strong coffee but you do not black out, so congratulations. Huh. You actually need to go take a poop okay. now. <laughs> not actually. Um. Okay. Well, I guess he's going to hang around a little bit, but then coffee's going to get to him a little bit, and he's just going to get up and leave. But I imagine he probably didn't glean any more information. Uh, not really. Yeah. Okay, then. Give me one second. I guess, uh, Jal's gonna seek out a place to use the restroom, I suppose. <laughs>
Alrighty, one second. One second. Uh, Drogo is not. Eh, stay there. So you, so you wander off to, to somewhere. Yeah. Give me one second. I'm, looking, I'm doing one thing real quick okay. in the background. No problem. It uh, definitely seems like maybe there was some sort of uh, response, or maybe I was supposed to give, or maybe they just uh, simply holding back something that. Uh, Hmm. Not sure about that. But, I uh, mean, he said he'd seek me out. <laughs> totally not uh, ominous at all. Totally not going to uh, send someone to stab me in my sleep or not. My, uh... Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> totally fine. Clearly not. Why would you do that? Wow. Yeah. Uh. There we go. We're fine. Thank you, everybody's got uh, drinks and stuff. I got taken care of. While this is all going on and you're having this conversation, you've you, you've had your coffee, your bot, you know, you're you know <laughs> gonna go find a place to vomit or pass out or do something. I don't know. Uh. Mm -hmm. So back in the, the uh, we'll call it a pool, in the bathing pool. Um, Mook, are you back? Uh, he's muted, but he's in Discord. I'm here. Cool. cool. Yep. All right. I'm here. Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry. Back up and running. Oh, boy. Map. Oh. A map room. Nice. Yes. Uh, did you guys the part where you map. not expecting this? <laughs> That's what you must have been preparing. Uh huh. I was. Um. Wow. So while you know you are off and Chungus and Galactor are in there, kind of flexing and, and, and kind of pushing the waves back and forth and stuff like that. Um. As you recall, everybody left the room, and the doors have been shut. Now the door's open. And you see two cloaked figures walk through the door. Hey, this is a private bath. Cloaked in, they're hooded, their faces obscured with a mask, and they're armed. Oh, oh boy. Walker will stand up above the water. He's completely naked. <laughs> and, uh,. He might have a slight chub, and he's going to say, if you want a part of this hammer, you better grab the handle. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Good job. Jesus, holy, oh, my God. Slow clap. That's nice. Yeah. Wow. Holy shit, son. <laughs> oh, my God. Mega Chad. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the, the chattest of Chads. Oh shit. Uh... I was not expecting that. <laughs> well, these guys are about not to expect that the Hadoukens are about to come their direction. <laughs> Alright, so I need y'all to roll initiative, please. Yep, yep. All of us? You're not you're not there, neither's Drogo. Yeah. That's what I was kinda Yeah. Twenty three. Well, good luck guys. <laughs> That's alright. All right, well, Batoran and yeah. the one assassin will go at the same time. So, Batoran, go ahead and make your combat maneuvers. Oh, I laughed so hard to start hiccuping now. 
Assume sure, like they just... wouldn't have any of their stuff on them, right? <laughs> uh, not 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 armor. <laughs> oh, yeah, at least not armor. Um, so would I be able to sneak a dagger in? That's uh, not really no. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> Uh, Need I remind you, back... you're in a bath. You're not yeah. like in a party. <laughs> I mean, I could have hit it in the towels. Who's hitting my towels? <laughs> dry off with after the fact. I'm gonna move the fuck away. Like, because I have, I have no weapons. I am not good at combat fighting. I'm only good at melee fighting. Uh, I'm just going to move away. Run away. How, each square is what, five feet? Yes, please. Uh, How ten, deep's the water, 15, may I ask? 20, uh, it's about, 30. You know. the, the, the water is about, just about waist deep. Mm -hmm. For an average height person. So for, for Chungus, it's up to like his top of his chest. For you, it's like, like just above the knees. Or maybe, you Same know, kind me. of mid-thigh. Gotcha. Chungus, meanwhile, is over there. I'm just going to swim. Chungus, you guys, uh, you guys take care of this. I'm at a severe disadvantage. Uh, <laughs> you see the first oh, assassin. You see him pull out a short sword. Oh, a short sword, I could use that. And you'll see him... And somehow, he almost like walks across the water. Are you fucking... Bartorn's like, are you fucking kidding me? 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45... Magic users! Right in your face. And he, like, he, he makes it that far. I mean, what the fuck? And just before he can stab you... He needs his turn. <laughs> Galactor, just you're up. Glare at him like, fuck you. Like, like it all happens in the same motion. He's like, he's charging you as you're backpedaling, basically. It all happens in the same motion, and just yeah. I, I'm just staring at him. I'm just giving him dagger eyes the entire time. I'm like, fuck you. Galactor, okay. you're up. Galactor will move up <laughs> onto the the concrete and then move around the edge of it. Okay. Out of the water. Okay. And I'm figuring this is a pillow or something here. It's yeah, it is. Yeah, you can you can just kind of move past it. It's not like an obstacle you have to worry about. Gotcha. I got you. So what would you like to do? I'm going to try this Tasha's mind whip out that I have. Okay. New move. I don't remember what that does. I don't know. I'm going to try it. Okay. So it, it looks like it's a save. So it looks like he saved quite easily. Oh, damn. Yeah. 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 Uh, is it just like half damage or is it like he doesn't get whatever? It was the spell say. It takes half damage. Yeah. Okay. So it's a half damage it, thing. It, it's cool. a intelligence it's save. Damage. Okay. Good. That's good to know. That's psychic damage. Okay. Boom. He takes half of that. So all of a sudden you see him like just kinda like reel back from <laughs> from Galactor standing on this thing. <laughs> He's standing on top of like a pink pillow. Like battle tracker. <laughs> That's it, it's the visual that hit him. It's it's not actually a mental it's just like a mental image that is now scarred into his mind. <laughs> I thought I had him. Clicked. I'm sorry. You did. did you know? did. He took oh, damage. Okay. Yeah, he took damage. Alright, and then that should be the end of my turn. Alright, Chungus, you're up. Uh, said this water was uh, chest deep, right? Yeah, yeah, about mid chest, yeah. I mean, it's it's deep enough water. Like... I assume where you're standing is chest deep. <laughs> so does that make it like difficult terrain or whatever? Uh, not really. No, it's not. It's not deep enough to be difficult to run. You you can push through it pretty easily. Okay. Also, where did I put my stuff? Uh, in the room. <laughs> Just somewhere. 
Yeah, like it's it's stashed back in the room. So in it's not with you. Hotel room. Maybe. So oh, it's in the room. So grab it. Going back, grabbing it probably is not an option. No. Yeah. No. No. Uh, I'm gonna go with gone, you could like try that if you would like. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna run down the hallway and then up a flight of stairs and then down a hallway and over him and grab your stuff, don the armor and then run down the hallway, down the stairs and back down the hallway. You know good, what? good luck to you. Or good yeah. luck to Batorin and Galactor, I guess I should say. <laughs> right? Yeah, because I'm the squishy one here. There's a sofa over there in the corner. There is a sofa in the Get corner. Get up and use it to bash. <laughs> there, are, there are you know sofas I'll... and stuff like that around the room. I'm just going to get through this with raw strength. Do it up. Fun. So, five, ten, fifteen. Just going to punch him in the gut. Thirty. Thirty-five. <laughs> and that's about as far as I can move. Alrighty. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Free action to to yell at this assassin. I'm like, come get me, flimsy bork. Alrighty, he will pull out a short sword and leap at you. And he will. Let's see. What he's doing. Okay. He will switch sword. And and he, he kind of slips and falls because the you know the, the the stones are wet. He kind of lands. He rolls and he kind of shut. He kind of stabs his dagger his sword sword back up. Mm -hmm. And it just you know he he basically almost like falls on the ground. He's able to kind of keep his balance just enough, but he's he's way off balance. Uh, he failed miserably because he rolled a th two and a three. Because you know, assassin. <laughs> Jalo's in the other room. Drogo's in the room praying. But Torin, you're up. You have a assassin right dead in your face. He's got a short sword basically coming at you. What do you do? You've backed up away from him. And he's charged at you as you did. So, so I see that. Um. Can I try to wrestle the weapon out of his hand? Sure. Make an oppose. Make you make an opposed strength check, please. Strength check. Yes, please. Strength check. Strength plus one. Come on. I did you gotta it be not. a four. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> oh wow! How? How the water, the water bad? got you. Jesus. You couldn't. Yeah, you, it was just. It was just. You're both covered in water, and you just grabbed his wrist, and it just wouldn't. Like your hand was just so slick, and it, you know, it just it wouldn't cover. It wouldn't grab a hold of that leather. He's wearing leather, and it's just it's it's gonna slide right around. Fuck. <laughs> what would you like um, to do? There goes that idea. Do I see any other weapons on his personage? Uh, just a crossbow. A crossbow. Ah, fuck. That would be a disadvantage. Um. Assume I can't try to get it again. I can try uh, to hit him, I guess. No, I will give you bonus I action. To, to I, I will give you a that. bonus action to have tried and grabbed it. That used your cunning action. Okay. You still have an Fair action enough. which you could do um, like yeah. an attack or something like I can that. Try to hit him. So I just. Sure. So, if you want to try uh, and disengage and get away, that's up to you. I can't. That's a bonus action. Oh bonus no! Action you can use, you can use an action to do that. I, could, I guess I'll do some that. I'll, I'll disengage and just move away from him further towards Chungus. Okay. So you... Uh, where did... where did Chungus go? Where did he... I, I'm on a very small laptop, so I can only see so much of the screen here. I'm on you, the left. You can... Yeah, uh, uh, well. Never mind. Door. I will move towards uh, Galactor then. Uh, 10, 15, 20, 25... 30. Huh. Help, please. Assassin 2 will kind of catch his balance. You see him kind of push off the rock. Uh, 
And he will swing at you with the sword that you tried to grab a hold of. Yep, true. Boom. And hit. Five Fuck. damage. Well, that's not five. That's not bad. It's not that he will bad. swing again. Okay, who got blood in the bath? <laughs> <laughs> me. For that eight damage, me. as you feel him slash across ah, your back. Shit. And you see blood kind of... Oh, now the blood is beginning to kind of pool inside the blood, the water. That's going to hurt. Galactor, you're up. So well. technically... Yeah, I'm sitting here trying to look there. Okay. Uh, where is my armor? Uh, yeah, you, you do need to make sure you're not wearing your armor. I just took them. I just took them both off. They, both those hits would have hit anyway. Yeah, yeah. On my AC is oh, is that, that's not bad. Fifteen AC. That's not bad. It's based on death. Galactor is going to cast Chaos no, Bow at good. level four. Okay. Woo. Yay! Really? Oh. Ooh. Wait, can I do my chaos thing? You're... I, I, I guess. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me hide the chaos. <laughs> I mean... Um, just... I can manipulate the forces that lets me have advantage on attack roll, so... I should have did it before. Sure. You, you cast with one hand, you come back and you try and cast again. Go for it. Nope. Oh. <laughs> oh damn, that one. Your your bolts fly and hit the water. It's just massive spray of water just comes over and comes over Batoran and the other guy. And the assassin, you see just blood coming out. Well, I'll be in my. Yeah, you don't want to move. You got you have you still have a move action if you'd like to. Use oh, that. I mean. Are you happy to say that if you like this too? You don't have to make a move. Really, I can't. Um, I mean, if I move up to close to combat, I guess I. Sure, it will give uh, Bartoran a uh, advantage when he swings. When he punches. <laughs> yeah, swings. Yes. Unless right. I am able to. When he swings his fist. His <laughs> yes. Yeah. With my my, I get I have a twelve strength, so I get plus one. Da I do like one damage. Uh, you do forty one d four plus four. You do one d well, you you know you do one d four plus one. No, it's not plus one. It's plus four, plus one. Okay. So minimum two damage every time. Right. True. Maximum if you hit. Five. If I hit. Yeah. All right, Chungus, you're up. I'm gonna try to grapple this sucker. Okay. What up? So that is a strength check, please. Ooh, I don't have my gauntlets, do I? No. Oh, you do not. No. Right, no, so you're I... not wearing armor. So that plus four is more like a plus three now. Okay. I mean, you can go into your inventory and check it off. That's what I just did. I just checked off all my armor. Uh, it's it's not calculating that properly, so just go ahead and do it. Mm. Yeah. All right. At least mm. I get an advantage because of rage. Eighteen. Hey, eighteen. Nice. Can't save me through. Sixteen. All right, you grab a hold of him. Now what? All right, now I'm gonna try to like suplex, throw. Suplex. 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 I'm gonna try to like throw him down and pin him under the water. <laughs> so you should like try and like like wrestle him. You should try to wrestle him into the water. And like pin him under the water? Yeah. Like drown him? Yeah. Okay, you nice. have now moved him into the water. <laughs> He's now Monday night raw. <laughs> and I'll and I'll throw in a punch for good measure too. 
Okay, so you can grab one and you throw in a, a, a punch, so make an attack roll. Just a d20 plus three. Uh, yes. Be like a D four or D six for damage. One D four plus strength mod. So that's also three. Nice. Seven points of damage. As you like, just like kidney shot him. Right. Ran out of family, damn it. And I'll end my turn as I am holding him underwater. Okay. Uh, you do understand the rules for drowning, right? Uh, refresh my memory. Uh, let me go here. Do, 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 do. Let's find out. After one plus combat bonus minutes of holding your breath underwater, you fall unconscious. Your hit points fall to zero, and you can then survive for another round equal to your combat modifier. After that, you begin making death saves. So you have to hold them underneath the water for a whole minute? Uh, one plus con bonus minutes. minutes. Oh, well, keep mm. punching them in That's the several... kidney. You'll, uh, you'll eventually get them to breathe. One minute is ten rounds, by the way. <laughs> yeah, so you're going to have to hold them under there for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> All the time I need. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, if he fails enough times, sure, but... Alright, you need to make a strength check for me as he tries to break free. He's not breaking free, Ooh, clearly. Duality no. of man. Uh, he is great. Duality of man, indeed. Dropped a one. He is grappled. Uh, oh, grappled this, so he will attempt to attack you. Um, that should be a disadvantage, I think. I think so. Maybe. I don't know so, though. Uh, Grapp I can't recall. Oh, here we go. Uh, blind grappled. A grappled creature's speed becomes zero, and it can never from any bonuses to its speed. Anything like that. Condition also ends with where's the grappled creature. So no, it doesn't. Uh, it uh, does not uh, impose disadvantage. Nope. Just can't move. Yep. No means. Really. So he hits me then. Oh, that, that, I, I, actually, unless you want to pose a disadvantage, I think that would qualify. Try if you know, because this situation is he prone? Uh, well, he is trying to attack. Break, yeah. Okay, if he's prone, then probably but I the think thing. that would qualify. Actually, more so, uh, I, I would probably rule that as he's he's not just grappled; he is restrained. Yeah, that's see. true. I would say so, okay. yes. Let's see. Restrain. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage, and attack roll yeah. creatures attack rolls have a disadvantage. So if he's restrained, then yeah, you would have disadvantage. Yep. I shall roll again. Advantage. We will roll again and see what happens. Uh, he, he needs to be restrained. And he is prone because he's on his back. Yep. Okay. If he's prone, then he has disadvantage, anyways. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He is at super disadvantage. So he failed <laughs> both attacks because it wouldn't have mattered. So he would have been. I don't think a twelve would not have done it. So Jalu, you're not Maybe. here. Drogo, like... you're not here. Back to the top of the turn. Right. Um. So 
So I am going to try and punch the guy. Actually, no, I'll try one more time to wrestle the sword out of his hand. You said that's an opposing strength check? Yes, please. Right. 19. And 11. Sweet. I have his sword. You have Good a job. hold of his sword. Yeah. <laughs> what now? You have a hold of his sword. You have not removed the sword from his hand. You have a hold. Oh, you've gra you've been able to his... grab a hold of the sword. I'll rip the sword out of his hand. Take the sword from him. Okay, you now have his sword. Sweet, short sword. Uh... So, I am going to attack him with the short still sword. Still have an action left. Yeah. Wait, do I still have an action left, or is that my full action? No, that was your full action. My full turn. That was a... I, I classify that as a bonus action, so you... you oh, okay. Can... Alright. Okay, cool. Intact. Okay. I'm gonna attack him. Uh, one second. I suppose you could just add the uh, short sword. That's what I'm trying right. to do right now. I'm trying right. to find it in the system. Should just be able to search for it, right? So I'm trying to do. Yep. I type short sword. Yeah, the box it's below. Not... Yeah, I typed it, but nothing's coming up. Hmm. Okay. Um. Uh, click on the oh. drop box. Uh, base scrolls, and then just scroll to the list there. to S. Alright. So, so I, went took, I went and did it, it's there. Okay. Yep. Oh cool. So I am going to <laughs> swipe at him. My short sword. Hey, twenty seven. Your hit. short sword. My na my yes, my I mean, short sword. Now, but... Yes. Uh one D six was five piercing, that's nine piercing damage. Okay. So he takes nine points of damage. And end my turn. Assassin 2. Seeing as his short sword has been uh, removed from him, you see him kind of cloak himself. Roll through. 4, 10, 15, 20, 25. Roll through where? 30. He will step back. You'll see him roll back out. And he will pull out a crossbow. And so I take it he's doing the disengage action? He is. Yeah. Uh, of course. Boom. Oof. Good God. <laughs> and as you feel it into your body, you feel a burning sensation. Son of a bitch. It's poisoned. It is. That's Fucking hell. You feel you feel your Ooh, body Jesus Christ. like instantly become almost innum innumerably weak. Like and the world begins incredibly small. And you can almost barely Jesus Christ, it's a good thing it. I bought those potions. Holy shit. Galactor, you're up. Alright, I'm going to try and cast Hold Person. Okay. And he failed. And there you go. Okay. Oh, sweet. Okay. Check this shirt. Poison to hell. All right. So while I'm uh, holding this guy down, I'm gonna try to uh, sort of lift his head up slightly and bash it against the uh, the bottom of the pool. Okay. You just make a standard attack roll. Just the Warhammer will do fine. 
Sure. Just roll the attack on that. You're fine. All right, so you crack his head against the ground. Uh, da, 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 da. 1d10 damage. Plus your strength modifier. As you really drive his head in the back, you basically try and crack his skull open on the ground. I have to remember which one's the d10. Is it this one? Yep, that's the correct one. Yep, so All he right. takes five points of damage as you kind of bash his head into the ground. And I'll do it once more. Okay. Hit. Plus three. For nine more. You now see blood be kind of, kind of drip out from the back of his skull. And I'll uh, keep holding him there. End my turn. Uh, okay. Give him a chance to... Uh... Please make a strength check, please. Uh, he ran a four. Doesn't matter. And you just, like, just, like, kind of, like, like, pressure, like, flex your arms and kind of press it down the water again as he tries to, like, get up. Even with the 19, he wasn't going to make it. He will attempt to attack you. Uh, that's going to fail. We'll try again, and that will fail. And those two aren't here. All right, Batarin, you're up. Y your body is cripplingly weak at this point. You can feel the poison still coursing through your veins. Flexing your fingers hurts. The water itself stings and burns like acid on your muscles. What do you do? Would he know how to counteract the poison? Uh, instantaneously, eh, he could. He, he could figure out. He, I mean, he could probably whip up an antidote. He just doesn't have anything. Yeah, to do yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean, out of bathwater is probably not his solution. No, <laughs> especially with blood in it. Now, it's like, yeah, ugh. it's his blood, so you know. Yeah. Um. Bunk. I am here. I am going to stab. Actually, I can't stab. I'm going to walk up. Actually, no. I'm going to use. I'm going to use a potion of healing. I am hurting. Uh, uh, we don't have any, man. Uh, you don't have them. Oh shit! That's right. We don't. Fuck. That's right. <laughs> um, I forgot. In that case, I'm just going to walk up. Uh, and stab this son of a bitch. He's paralyzed, so I have advantage, right? You do. It'll automatically do it. Don't worry about it. Yep. Okay, cool. Do, do, do. Short sword. Nice. 15. That hits. It does. And 10 damage. And. Okay. And my turn. Okay, Assassin 2 will make an, a, 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 a wisdom saving throw. You want me to roll for you? Please. He fails. So he just stands there, frozen. <laughs> so he will continue on. Galactor, you're up. Is your... Okay, I'm just... I was just reading real quick. I didn't know if getting an attack broke his thing or not. It until. does not. I looked at that. <laughs> the spell doesn't say it anyway. Alright, Glocktor will step up here, keeping his concentration. And, um... My bad. One thing away, because, um... Uh, I figured if I cast Shocking Grasp on people in the water, it'd be bad. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to do it as bad as I can, but there's too many friendlies in the water. And I will 
try and fire bolt him. It <laughs> needs to be minus one because I don't have my rod with me, so I'm not, I'm just gonna roll it anyway. That's yeah, fine. Go for it. Eighteen so hits. Eighteen. It's <sighs> Boom. So you you hit him with this firebolt. Now, bear in mind he is wet. But it still does 11 points of damage. As it kind of blasts into him. And kind of, you see all, of a sudden, all of a sudden he starts steaming, basically. You're turning him into steam broccoli at this point. <laughs> Chungus? You continue to drown a man. <laughs> <laughs> and bashing his head. Okay, you hit him. All of a sudden, you see, you, you hear the stone beneath crack. <laughs> okay. And one more. I'm going to tell you something real quick. You do 11 points of damage, he dies. <laughs> Roll damage. Oh, and that's 2d10, right? That is 2d10. That's it. Oops. <laughs> oh, you uh, you can't. <laughs> 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 well, there you go. Max damage. Yeah. So, so for the last hit, I, I just lift him up out of the water and just smash his head against the edge of the. <laughs> the of cement the pool. do it. That's hilarious. <laughs> and you just like break the step, like completely. Like, it's just, you just hear crack, you just hear this massive crack, and you see the government, the stone step that's chunk of sustain beside is broken, and there's a lifeless body now in the pool. That's in the hilarious. Pool. <laughs> what else would you like to do since you just killed a man? Not as big as Be because no, drowning no. him wasn't good enough. <laughs> I'm gonna mosey on over oh. towards the rest of the group. Let's see, five, He's too impatient. <laughs> Want to wait drowning there. took time. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. why drown him when you can just bash him to death. Oh, wait over <laughs> exactly. here, right? Exactly. Not drowning. Bash his head in. Okay. Chapter's not here. Drago's in the bedroom. Batorin, no, you're bear up. Bear in mind, this one is currently ours. Yeah, I'm like, I. I point to Chungus, and I point. I look at this guy dead in the eyes. I point to his friend's body, like, "That's what we're gonna do to you." And I say it with this, like, this devilishly impish smile, as if like we're gonna murder the shit out of you, as if it's the best thing ever. And I'm just gonna stab him again. Okay, he takes seventeen points of damage. Are you hitting of... seventeen points of? Damage. You hit. That's, that's my hit. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I do seventeen points of damage. As as he's saying that, I sort of rub my uh, my bloody hands together. All right, so he takes eight points of damage. He's eight he's fairly hurt. Damage and end my turn. Uh, wisdom saving though, please. He fails again. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you ain't. And it's like I tell, like ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh, you ain't getting out of this. <laughs> All right, so Glockter will walk up uh, to the last minute, and he'll say, "Now you want to live, don't you?" And I could probably like see the the panic in his eyes, and um, I will start making like a little bit of frost start coming in my hands because I like I'm gonna cast ray ray of frost. And um, I'm going to be like, you're going to tell us what we want to know. Uh, uh, he is motionless as you've paralyzed him completely. Right. Uh, and I'm going to be like, I'm going to let you loose. You're not going to run. Or you're going to die. And I will... Uh, let go of my concentration of a uh, hold person. Okay. You see, like, when you let it go, you see him kind of, like, release. Uh, 
And before you can, before you even realize it, you see his hand come up from his pocket and slip something into his mouth. Can I cast Ray of Frost on his mouth? <laughs> Uh, it, trying it is, to freeze his mouth <laughs> it, it is too late as foam begins to come out around him and he begins to shake violently and he falls back into the water and then foam and then followed by blood dummy should have took his uh, stuff first <laughs> as he poisons himself He took the pill exit. Yep. What a coward. Actually, it was a plant, but eh, same stuff. He ate some nightshade. Mm, roughly. So, Bit of him uh, lot. He died Ooh. with no honor. There's probably not much on their bodies, but I figured out people would like to rummage through and see what we can find. Of course. Sure, go ahead. Do I need to roll an investigation or a perception or anything to see what I may find? You, you can rummage through his body as much as you'd like. Alright. Sure. I'll just... You don't need to roll. Um, as you kind of rummage okay. through his body, uh, you do find a key. Oh, a key. Uh, you also find a small handkerchief. Oh. It's silken? It would be silken. Mm-hmm. Now, does one of, does the key us. look like one of the keys that went to the uh, one of the rooms here? It looks at the key you have. Oh fuck! The rooms. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do they have any markings on them? Like, does it say like a like a room number ish or something? Uh, there is a small marking, uh, that matches, that you do recognize as kind of a, it's, it's, it's more of like a symbol. It does match the key symbol. I recognize it. That's what matches the room, our room symbols. It does. Fuck. Mm. All right, uh, we need to go have a word with the front desk reception or whoever, whoever any of us talk to for whatever particular reason, because, uh. I get your stuff first, though. <laughs> Yeah, obviously we're gonna get our stuff first, but uh, cause clothes would be a good trash. option too. But you know, that's just <laughs> yeah. me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna take a robe, one of the robes off these bastards, and just cover myself with it. He storms to the front. <laughs> this service in this hotel sucks. <laughs> so if he takes, so if he takes the robe, is the guy still wearing a shirt? Because I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab the back of this dude's shirt. And I'm gonna grab the back of the other dude's shirt. Uh, I'm going to walk my naked ass to the front desk and say these servants suck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's perfect. That is fantastic. Oh my god, yes, that is perfect. Do it. I'll be right there with you, like, yeah! They have fucking weapons on them. Suck for cleaning. What the shit? Demand Before we do this, I'm going to cast Mage Armor on myself and then do that. Fair enough. It's, I, I, wait, my, I, I talked to Galactor. Do you think we should maybe get our, our stuff first before we do this? I'm going to let you get my stuff for me. <laughs> All right. Oh, you servant now. Damn, I've been delegated to servant. Well, You're also about half dead, so you, you know this is true. Uh, so as you so, so you all go back. To the, you, you all head towards the room. Uh, Galactor, yeah. dragging two bodies. As you're walking to the room, you Ooh. see Jalu coming the other direction. Oh shit! Okay, so I see Galactor stark naked, holding two dead bodies. Pretty much. Jalu's just going to stop and look very very confused and say what happened let's just say they left a light on for us 
Jalu looks oh even more. Oh my god. <laughs> and it was just not super eight. <laughs> <laughs> Motel six will leave the light on for you. Oh my lord. But uh, they pr- they try to turn you into candlewood. Um, I'll fill him fill him in on how <laughs> these uh friendly servant boys came to uh I don't know that even be a good way to put it. I'm, I'm just other than they came to attack us. I was actually going to try something <laughs> punny there, but no. That's... As I ah, suspected. Yes. They couldn't handle the hammer. Yes. As I suspected, our presence here has been noted. They made the water Please, too hot. Uh... Make yourself decent. If you would. <laughs> I'll grab one of the pillows that's on one of the chairs and put it in front. But dropping one of the dead bodies, and uh, uh, hopefully the the nice, lovely older lady is still sitting at the front desk. Uh, she is. I will. I will. Um, <laughs> hold up this. Uh, hopefully the non, um, skull bashed in one. There's the one foaming at the mouth. You're gonna have the one with the discolored face that's got purple gotcha. and and stuff like that from the poison. Okay, um, got it, Chief. Uh, Glockter was, um, who might have gave this nice gentleman um, the other key to our room? There is no other key. It's one key, one room. Uh, Glockter will set down <laughs> uh, the other key that this gentleman had on him. Jalu will take out the key he is. Because... She, she looks and goes, I, I, I'm extremely confused, but there is only one key. And she points back to the key rack, and there are only, there are no keys. There's only, like, she points and goes, this room is vacant, and there's only one key laying there. We don't carry a spare key. Privacy is impairment. Who are, who are these men, and why are you naked? <laughs> what is going on here? At whatever point I get back to the room, I'm quaffing healing potions until I heal myself up. Well, they're 2d4 well, plus 4, so you're going to need a few of them. <laughs> yeah. Well, right. Blueberry McGee here but does not seem to be under them. the service of uh, your employment. I, I decided the... that he would like to join me and my comrades in the bathhouse. He is not... What? I, I am so very confused right now. You just drug that man naked to the desk? <laughs> Who is this man? And again, why are you naked? Even though Jalu is not Jalu. Glockdor looks over to Jalu. Both of uh, us bald. Tries to give the best Karen look we can, <laughs> and says, "I would like to speak to your manager." <laughs> One moment. <sighs> she gets up and and walks to the other room. And you hear some, some conversation going on. I, I, they brought... Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. No. You should come see this. Uh, I, they want to talk to you. I don't know. They're naked. I don't understand why they're doing it, but they're just naked. I don't understand why they brought a man up here. Yeah, yeah. So, and she goes back, and, and right behind her comes a very tall, very slender man. He goes... Is there a problem with the rooms, gentlemen? And then he then he sees Galactor, and then he sees the body, and his eyes kind of like squint a little bit, and it's kind of like, uh, what is going on? Uh, it was, um, 
I'm a bit confused as to what is going on. Uh, an explanation, perhaps? We were enjoying your lovely baths, and these two men, who happen to have the same key as we do, came in and tried to give us a massage, and we weren't having it. <laughs> uh, sir, I, then they must have your key. We only have the key. So, clearly, they acquired your key. Uh, He'll look back at Jalu to have him. Jalu will show the other key. Show it's clearly the same key. I don't understand. Unless they've got duplicates of the key. You said they attacked you. He just say, he kind of goes, I'm sure they attacked you in the bath. But why? Who are these men? Um, Glockdor will uh, remove one of their uh, the, the hood from him showing him the purple face dude and then hand him the silk handkerchief and ask if this uh, may mean anything to him no not at all uh, it's a handkerchief can Glockdor tell any difference in his tone of voice after seeing the handkerchief Make an insight check. His, his, his tone seems to be the same. As far as you can tell, his tone seems to be the same. You are unaware. If, if it has changed, you are unaware of it. And if it uh, you're unaware if it is... Act, if he's lying, if he's telling the truth, if he's accurate or anything. I got you, I got you. Just a conversation, yeah. Yeah. He, he seems rather confused, though. He goes, I can assure you, sir, we don't give out spare keys. I, I don't know how he would have gotten a copy of the key. So somebody stole it. Uh... Joe Lou will kind of go over to Glockdor and kind of whisper to him. Um, do you think you could pull them somewhere else for a moment? Distract them. Um, Glockdor will ask the manager if there's a more discreet area we can maybe move this to. Uh, the manager goes... Uh, Sure, sure. Come in, come in, come in. Come into my office. We'll have a discussion in there. He pulls you, he guides you towards the, the room that he came out of. Gotcha. I figure they probably want the dead bodies out of the foyer, so he'll bring them. Yes, he would like the dead bodies moved. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, Je Jelly's going to stick behind. Uh, is the, the old lady going to? Uh, yes. Okay, so Jelly's going to try and sneak over and look uh, at the kind of guest book or ledger or whatever so. okay so you see so, you, so while they walk out there you kind of flip open the, the ledger book huh yeah try to find the name of that guy i was talking to uh, okay uh which one would you like which one which one are you talking about the 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 first guy or the second guy uh actually either of them mostly the first guy is talking oh, to roberto but... Ma Mixon? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so you flip through, and you're able to find his name. Uh, yeah. you, you You see that he is, he was, uh, he's registered five days ago. Uh, mm -hmm. He arrived three in the exposition of his, uh, of his room for two more days. Uh, according mm -hmm. to this, he has taken all the amenities, every single one available. Yeah. Uh, he was, he was, Put in. You, you'll notice another name along with that. Yeah. The name Nasin Sads. S A D Z Nasin. N A S E N. Was the person who apparently uh, was reg uh, 
reserve the room on behalf of Mr. Mixon. Mm. Okay. Interesting. Uh, he, so he paid mm -hmm. in cash. Uh, there is supposed to be a complement of eight people with him. Supposedly. Okay. I see. So I'll just note down which room he's in. Uh, okay. Uh, you recognize him to be on the on the gamma room. Uh, basically, it's a symbol for gamma. Um, which is you. You know, if you go up the stairs to the rooms, it is the <laughs> second room down on the right. Okay. Uh, you also know that Giorgio, the man you saw, yeah, uh, his name shows up as well. He arrived the same day. Okay. It lists his occupancy as one person. He took right. no other amenities, and he is scheduled to leave it exactly the same day as Robert. Okay, and uh, what room is he staying in? He is listed as a uh, as theta. It is the third room. If you actually turn, there's there's a kind of another set of there's another uh, set of rooms. It's downstairs. He actually is part of that room section. It's like the fourth room down on the left. Oh, okay. So like that. Yep. All right. Well, I'll just uh, once Jalu has absorbed that information, he'll try to make it uh, put it back the way it was. Okay. Uh... Yeah, just give me a wisdom check. Okay. Yep, just a flat wisdom check. Bam, there you go. Wise as fuck. As far as you can tell, it is back perfectly as it was. Nice. You have right, done as then, good as possible. Okay. And then I'll uh, go into the room. Okay. The boss and the one lady will look kind of... They, they kind of glance over as you move. Um, but they are kind of in discussion and kind of a little bit distraught. Yeah. By all of this. Uh, they're they're kind of you know they're they're kind of waiting for Kalaktor to say something kind of sorta. Of. Um, <laughs> Kalaktor will make mention of uh, this is not very professional. Uh, we did not hire these men. We don't even they don't work for us. This is not our doing. Clearly, somebody wants you dead. Why would they want you dead? Maybe some point in time, Bartor is going to be walking down the stairs. Yeah. Uh, clearly, you have angered the wrong people in this town. Maybe I should kick you out of my establishment. I'm afraid that won't be necessary. Yeah, I'd simply just want to know. Who at this establishment uh, could have possibly done this? I don't know. We don't give out spare keys. We don't keep extras. Are you sure you don't know? I, I, I truly don't. I, I have no reason to mistrust my staff. I have no reason to trust anybody in this... In this... Is he lying? <laughs> as far as you can tell, no, he is not. He seems to be as genuinely honest as he can be. Okay. Doctor will say, okay, now calm down. I know you say you don't know anything about the handkerchief. Can you, from the life of you, just think if you might have seen any other ones like it in the past few days? Now, these probably would not be the type of handkerchiefs as cleaning your mouth or wiping your brow. These would be uh, maybe shown here and there, you know, under a few conversations. I, 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 I don't. I, I might have seen one or two. I, I haven't thought much of it. They're just handkerchiefs. I mean, you know, people use them all the time. I don't recall who had them. 
but maybe a couple here have had them. I, I, I maybe it, it'd be hard to say, you know. I see. Well, if anything jogs your memory, if you could let us know. Uh, uh, certainly, certainly. It's a troubling matter for everyone involved. Most so for me. If if, if the other guest, please, please do not say anything. If the other guest found out, then they might all well leave. We understand. Now, what's going to happen is I'm going to walk out of the room and make a big fuss as we don't want you guys implicated in any of this. So, I'm just going to hoot and holler and I'm going to go to my room. <laughs> Okay. <sighs> Gently will just sigh a bit. It, Don't it, worry, it, we won't say anything to any of the other guests. He kind of he kind of rubs his brow, looking at the dead man in his office. Just need help uh, making sure this doesn't get seen. Yes, yes. He seems rather, uh, rather distraught by all this. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand why this would be happening in this place. But again, if you happen to see any more of these handkerchiefs, just let us know. It's certainly, certainly. Uh, I, I will. Uh, I know where to find you. Uh, yes, I believe. Glocko will nod his head and he'll open the door and start be like, I can't believe about this. This is the worst service I've ever had. And then he'll throw a pillow back at the chair. Oh. Just like... There, there's a couple of patrons you see kind of kind of stick their head out from the other room. And then kind of lean back into the room. And he'll start yeah. making his way back upstairs, just mumbling. Yep. Oh, no. <laughs> yep. And with that, <laughs> we will call it a session. Oh. You'll okay. see Bart.